time now we are going to solve these two problems which says that two forces of magnitude ta and tb are applied is shown to a welded connection knowing that the connection is in equilibrium determine the magnitude of the forces tc and td so these two problems are the same just the magnitudes of ta and tb are different in both the problems so we will solve these two problems uh, which have the same method right so we have this diagram and uh, what i will do is that first of all i will write uh, the x and y components of all these since the uh, the the connection is in equilibrium so if the connection is in equilibrium the summation of all the x component will be equals to zero and the sum of all the y components must be equals to zero since the resultant will be equals to zero since the whole connection is in equilibrium so first of all i'm going to write ta in the table so ta now as we can see uh, let me define my uh, positive x and y axis so this is towards the right is our positive x axis and in the upward direction is our positive y direction so this is our positive x and this is our positive y now as we can see that this ta is acting in the negative x it is horizontal and it is acting in the negative x so this means that ta force has is solely acting in the negative x direction so we will write that it is the x component of ta is ta and minus represent that it is in the negative x direction and since ta is horizontal so its y component must be equals to zero since it's only acting in the x direction so we can say that the y component of ta is zero now the next force or tension is tb now as we can see that tb is again horizontal and it is acting in the positive x and its y component must be equals to zero so we will write that the the x component of tb is plus tb since tb is itself acting in the positive x now the y component is zero since tb is in the x only acting in the x similarly tc we will write tc and now as we can see that since if this is our positive y direction so tc is acting in the negative y oh, and it is uh, the in the acting in the vertical direction so this means that the x component is zero and the y component is tc magnitude is tc and acting in the negative y direction since tc is acting only acting in the negative y direction so the magnitude will be equal to tc and it is acting in the negative y and now we have to deal with this td since this td is making 40 degree with the positive x axis so we need to resolve this td into its components so this td will have one component in the negative x and it will have one component in the it will have one component in the positive y and it will have one component in the negative x so let me represent those components we will have one component in the negative x and we will have one component in the uh, positive y so that will give us this td so now uh, as we can see that uh, we can draw this we can draw this uh, the x component of td here as well let me draw it here so now as we can see this is this component is the x component of td and since this component is adjacent to the angle so this will be the cos component so we can say that the cos the td and its x, x component magnitude is td cos of 40 degree and as we can see that this component is acting in the negative x so we will write minus here and now this component we can draw this component here as well so this component is in front of the angle so this is the sine component so we will write that this component the y component of td is td sine of 40 so we will write td sine of 40 and as we can see that this component is acting in the positive y so this is positive so we will write plus sign with it now we will add up all the x component of these four forces and we will add up all the y components and we will equate them to zero since the bracket is in equilibrium so now we will sum these and we will sum these so we will have minus ta 
प्लस टी बी माइनस टी डी काज ऑफ फोर्टी डिग्री दिस इज दिस ऑल द फोर्स आर कंपोनेंट अलॉन्ग एक्स एंड दिस मस्ट बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड सिमिलरली वी विल एड दिस सो दिस विल बी जीरो प्लस जीरो माइनस टी सी प्लस टी डी साइन ऑफ फोर्टी डिग्री दिस इज द सम ऑफ ऑल द वाई कॉम्पोनेंट and this must be equals to zero now since we are given ta and tb magnitude we will write um, this td in terms of ta and tb so we can write that minus td cos of 40 degree will be equal to ta minus tb if we bring this minus ta to the other side it will become positive and this will become negative so minus td cos of 40 is equal to ta minus tb and if we divide both side of equation by minus cos of 40 so we will have td equals to ta minus tb divided by minus cos of 40 let's say this is our equation 1 which is in terms of ta and tb and and both the problem gives us the magnitude of ta and tb so using equation 1 we will be able to find td if we know the values of ta and tb Similarly, for from this equation, we can write now. Now, from equation one, we know T D. So, from this equation, we can write that if I bring this T C to the other side of equation, so we will have T C equals to T D sine of forty degrees. And if I substitute that equation one in this, let's say this is uh, equation two. So, we will have equation two like T C equals to T A minus T B divided by minus cos of forty into sine of forty. So sine of forty divided by cos of forty is ten theta, and we can write that minus. We can write this minus in the numerator as well. So that is minus T A minus T B. And sine of forty divided by cos of forty is ten forty. Or we can say that if I multiply this minus sign to uh, inside the the bracket, so that will be T B minus T A ten forty. This is T C. Now we got two equations. This is let's say two dash. Let's say. So now for the first problem, that is problem two forty nine T A is eight eight kips. We can write that for problem two forty nine T A is eight kips and T B is fifteen kips. Now we will put only these values in equation one and two dash equation. So T D from equation one is T A minus T B, which is eight minus fifteen divided by minus cos of forty degrees. So eight minus fifteen, eight minus fifteen divided by minus cos of forty. This gives me T T D equals to nine point one four. T D is equal to nine point one four kips for problem two forty nine. Similarly, T C for problem two forty nine is now T B is fifteen, T A is eight, ten forty. So fifteen minus eight is seven. So seven. Let's say this is fifteen minus eight, ten forty. So this gives me T C equals to five point eight seven kips. Now for problem uh two fifty T A is six kips. And T B is nine kips. Now just plug in all those values in equation one and two, and you will get the answer. So I I won't solve this for you people. Just plug in the values in this. You people will get T D and just plug in the T A and T B value in this equation, and you people will get the magnitude of T C. 
and let me know about the answers in the comments uh, so so that all others can match your answer with with themselves i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston